imagine yourself in the year of our Lord, 1927. You, sitting inside a little plane, grossly overweighted with gas, now poised for takeoff. Full throttle ahead as she valiantly slogs her way down a muddy, rain-soaked, short dirt runway. Do or die, fate now cast to the wind, you become as one, this man and machine, reaching for the sky. A feat of Herculean strength, you lovingly coax her ever skyward, up and over the defying tall stand of trees that would precipitate your demise. Now precariously hovering over the frigid, desolate, windswept seas of a vast Atlantic Ocean with only the frail, fabric-covered wings of your tiny single-seat aircraft holding you aloft. Fear seductively beckons a mortal descent into oblivion, certain death. Guiding your humble craft, knowing it carries the hopes and dreams of a nation, you intrepidly proceed on course. Courageous and true, fighting frigid storms and icy winds, 1,500 miles from nearest landfall. Alone, so completely alone, but for the reassuring drone of an engine's heartbeat. Salvation. You fight the mortal battle of sleep deprivation, fatigue and self-doubt. For below you, only greedy death awaits. And yet somewhere in your heart, wells up a courage upon courage against all odds to prevail until the end should it be but for death you depart from the sacred palace of warriors and kings a heroic heart transcending all pain doubt and fear a place of gods who have but long ago slipped these surly bonds of earth a place of charles Lindbergh and donald trump